telling you guys, John Deere makes some great snoots. Not. I forgot about the other one. I gotta fix the other one now. Come on. So we're up here at Emerson. We finished on what we're gonna put in the bins up here uh, for beans. And then whenever the corn crew gets up here, they'll put a good majority of the corn up here in them bins. We are going to go, ooh, we're up there. We're gonna go down this road and go all the way down there. It's about like a mile and a half. And there's only one spot that I might have a little bit of trouble. Sean's gotta take off his head because he can't fit around it. But I should, I think at least, I think I should be able to fit around it. So we'll see, but this is our Flanagan farm. We bought it off of, uh, we bought it a couple years, or actually a long time ago, off of a guy with the last name of Flanagan. It's what we do sometimes, we'll name it after the person that we had bought it from, or the family, or something like that, out of respect, and that way we got a name for it. It makes it a lot easier, especially on us, so. I think the only people that's really driving down this road right now is one of our neighbors. One of our neighbors, I think, is over there cutting beans or picking corn or melons or something. But I think that's about the only people that should be driving down this road. So I'm going to shut my camera off, maybe put it down on the floor or something so that you guys can see what I'm doing. But we are going to keep cruising along here and go over there to that next field. So we're only going about 16 mile an hour. The reason that, that we like to leave our heads on is because for one, it makes the combines a little bit smoother when you're driving down the road, and two, it takes time to unhook them and it's just a pain. So we just, once we get up to somewhere like this where we can leave them on, we'll just leave them on and go. And uh, we've done probably around 400 acres up here without taking these heads off, which I love doing that. That is so much fun. And I just love being able to drive down a road like this with the head on because it makes it feel so big and tough. But yeah, we're coming up on the spot where I'm going to have troubles. Uh, there's a cross up here. Somebody had passed away and fallen off in this ditch one time. So I'm going to try to go around it. I think I should be able to, but we'll see. I got to tilt my head up and maybe I'll be able to fit around it. We'll see. But uh, up here there is a lot of wrecks. Like right here, somebody was driving down this crossroad and went and smashed into that ditch on the other side of it because they didn't know where they was. And yeah, I don't, I can't remember if they had ended up passing away or not, but the guy that fell off up here, he was hunting or something like that. It was in the dead of winter and he fell off the side of the road into the ditch and drowned. And they spent like two or three weeks up here looking for them and they finally found them. So just kind of a little backstory on this area up here. It's a little bit sketchy to begin with and obviously stuff like that doesn't make it any better. But that cross should be right up here somewhere. And I'm going to try to not move it. I'm going to try to go around it out of respect for them, for the family. So. Yeah, it's coming up. It's right up here. I know for sure I wouldn't want someone tampering with my uh, memorial for one of my friends or for my with my memorial. But they put this cross in here so so high off the ditch bank it's hard to it's hard for us to really move around it but we're gonna try it we're gonna try to not fall off in the ditch yeah I might not be able to do it yep as you can see I am going to hit it. Like it. Okay. 
okay. That might work. No, nope, that won't work. I'm getting ready to fall off in the ditch. All right, so next idea. Didn't make it. Gotta go back to that wagon. Sean's meeting me up there with that wagon, so that'd be all right. Alrighty then. Not only that, but alrighty then. Let's get over here. I hate these snoots. I really do. I don't think you guys understand just how much I absolutely hate these snoots. Just paints. And then I popped my chain off over here. I think that's supposed to be on these sprockets. Just an idea. Need a new one of these too. Great. Another day in paradise. Here goes another 30 minutes I'll never get back. And that's missing. I'm gonna go out there in the field and see if I can find it. See if it's sitting there on the ground where that spun off. Gosh. Another day in paradise. Nope, that didn't cost me any money at all. Just a $145 chain and uh, $10 worth of nuts and washers. So, we got nuts and the washers. The uh, chain will be here tomorrow. Better put this fancy thing on. Ugh. This truck beeps at you too. Ah, auto start thingy forwards this is my cousin's truck my work truck's up there but his was sitting on the end of the field so i kind of stole it but yeah our that chain will be here tomorrow hopefully and then i should be able to get a new chain put on it no problem but these nuts will get me running for the rest of the day today and i could probably run a little bit tomorrow but i figured i'd just go ahead and get that new chain anyways because I'm going to end up needing it. If I don't fix it now, it's going to end up breaking later on. So let's go ahead and get back up there and get this fixed. Hopefully before the sun goes down and we will get right back after it. Hold on. Got to get situated here. So all I need is this one and this little guy. Ow. That kind of hurt. So all I got to do now is we got to use this guy to pry this pulley forward and then use this guy to tighten this no this so we gotta take this out of Woo, it's a little bit all right i'm gonna shut this off for a second all right so this rock is down here i would put your there and I get in the way basically is what I'm trying to say so there goes the neighbors well, I just don't make no sense
<clears throat> Alright, that's good enough for today. So now we gotta put the shield back on. These things are simple. You can get you in the right place. Snap it in. Lock that in. Put the other one. Clip in. Pick up your trash. And then we're good to go. You having fun, Dad? Oh yeah, of course I am. Why wouldn't I, Seth? How are you liking your new combine? Pretty nice. He's enjoying it too much. I think my, it's my home away from home. You know, you even got a refrigerator down there, so it just makes it more like home, huh? Yeah, my dealer, Jason Boyles, forgot to stop it, but we'll let it slide for now. I think he's liking his phone charger more than anything. No, it's not a charger. Well, it's, it's a nice place to put it, though. Your 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 uh, phone holder. That'd be nice though if they did put the uh, put like one of them charging pads in there. You know, like what we got in our trucks. Yeah, but then it ruined my battery all the time. I've never had good luck with those. He just needs to get an iPhone. He's never had good luck with iPhones. <laughs> Do you like the dual screen thing? I really do like the uh, combine advisor, it seems to work. So does it not seem to you like it gets in the way sometimes? I don't like the screen up there. I figured you'd be like that. I'd like to have that screen. I mean, that's fine. Because you can flip it up out of the way. But I don't like that screen over there. I feel like whenever they put that up there though, they took like five steps backwards. Cause yeah, remember this the... is nice. I mean, you're able to turn the seat and see that snoot when you're picking around the end of the field. That, that part is good. I didn't like the screen. It was too tall, but it's okay. Yeah. See, in the 6 Series combines, the screen... It was just one screen. Here. was just one screen down there. But you can swing it over farther. This thing is not movable. But you can swing your seat now, and you can actually yeah. see down there from the looks yeah. of it. Yeah. And then the old combines, you couldn't even see down there. You could... Like, that was about as far as what it would go over, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that was right. Oh, here's your next appointment, Dad. So I went and made a round or two with Dad. Um, I'm on my way back home now. One of the uh, agronomists from Bayer showed up. Wanted to talk a little bit about the some of the new 
stuff that they're getting putting out for next year the new chemicals new herbicides new seeds everything like that data all that stuff they had all that out some of it at least not all of it um he brought us some uh milkshakes from steak and shake which was really nice of him but he also did say that they are going to put out a new form of extendamax now i don't know how i feel about this to an extent but i know that we will put some extendamax out next year probably do the more extend flex route dicamba over the over the uh, burn down application and then probably run liberty mid-year uh, we're getting some newer fancier things that'll allow us to run liberty a lot better so we'll see how things go with that but i just kind of want to update you guys on that i'm pretty sure i'm probably one of the first ones that's really going to be able to tell you anything about that the uh they're coming out with a new formulation of it it's not just a relabeled product like what i figured they'd do i figured they'd just relabel the product because that's all they'd have to do but they are going to uh put out a new completely new formulation of the fungicide or of the herbicide so it'll be interesting to see what all's in it how much they change and uh how the beans react to it just be an interesting idea to see uh see if it drifts a lot see if it's less uh not near as strong or something I, I don't really know it'll be interesting to see though but they kind of put us in a pinch last year whenever they done away with the extended max that we had i really wish they would have came and bought all of it back but still got probably five six thousand dollars worth of it sitting in my shed that i can't do anything with it so oh well part of it i guess right